Hey guys, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Codger's Garage. And today, we don't have any live and in-person projects going on, but I have a project that I just finished here I wanted to share with you guys. I'm pretty excited about. It's been in the, in the making here for a couple weeks. I picked it up. I hadn't had time to uh, address the issue, so let's talk about it. I'm going to flip the camera for you guys. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Here we have a Murray Briggs and Stratton, four and a half horse, 148 cc push mower here. And this little guy was sitting right on the dump pile, local dump pile. And I was dropping off my trash. I looked over and I thought, well, because mom has a mower that the the bale was broke on up here and uh, so I thought well maybe I can get the bale off this one and put it on her mower. So I got it home and I was like well I should probably see if it runs right because you know me guys I love to see you know if I can get old stuff started. So I mean granted this isn't that old but it was scrapped so it was like challenge accepted. So brought it home gave it a couple pulls it didn't kick, took the air filter off, played around with it, cleaned it up a little bit. There's a lot of gunk and stuff on it. Uh, checked the spark plug, I had spark. So I put a little more gas in it, tried it again, it sputtered. So I played with it a little bit more and I got it to start up. So here's the deal, here's the scoop. All right, the reason they had scrapped this mower I'm assuming, pretty good assumption here, was not that it didn't run, because it ran pretty good. But these down here, this whole setup on both sides, I don't know why Murray did this. This was a poor design. I'm really disappointed in Murray, really. Not that they've produced a lot of good lawn equipment throughout the years anyway. But these brackets here, this main bracket, this comes down, and there's supposed to be a piece that's one with this metal bracket, and it's metal, and it comes through its little clip, and it slides through that hole, and it locks that and keeps that from moving back and forth. Well, that had busted off, as you can see, on both sides. That's gone down in there, busted right off. So, you had this number going with the handlebars and the wheels, and they're swinging like this in the back, and the deck's bottoming out, right? So can't mow like that. Plus, the bolt down in there that tightens this adjustment to that adjustment was all loose. So the wheels are in addition to that doing this number. So I went ahead, I took the wheels off the back and tightened up the bolt here, down in here right there, that attaches the lever to the bracket and also the wheel to the bracket. I tightened that up solid. And then I went ahead and took a half inch cord drill and drilled out a hole through the bracket here into the body on both sides and put a bolt and nut down in there holding it all together. And now there is no wiggly waggly. There's no back and forth rocking. The handle is solid and everything works great. So they threw it away and I revived it. And let me just show you guys something here. This is pretty exciting. Uh, where was it exactly? Uh, was it down here? Oh, I don't know. Show it to you guys if I can find it. Hmm, I don't see it. Oh, right there. There it is. If I get the camera to focus here, just a minute. You see that date there? August 2012. This is 2012 mower that had been scrapped on the dump pile. You guys know me. 
and the mowers that I mow with, the push mowers, the oldest one I have that mows right now, I have some older ones I'm working on, but the oldest one I have that mows right now is a 1972, I believe it is, or 74, I'm not sure, Craftsman Eager push mower. Okay, this is a 2012. It's like the newest mower. Well, it is the newest mower I've ever owned. Or that my family's ever owned, for that matter. Uh, so, this is pretty exciting. Uh, granted, you know, they don't make it like the old stuff. I mean, this thing's pretty, pretty flimsy and pretty sad compared to, like, my Craftsman. But, hey, it's a good mower. It's a newer mower. Hopefully it'll... Uh, run a little better for me, and I won't have to, you know, mess with it all the time like I do my old ones. And it was free. I have zero, zero dollars in this. Zip, zero. The bolts were laying around in the toolbox. I have nothing in it. Not a single penny. So, everything seems to function fine on it. I can't find anything wrong with it. Let me, uh... Let me go ahead and start her up for you guys. <laughs> you watch, it won't start now. Oh, I do want to mention one thing. The way I had to drill, I did lose two settings on the height adjustment on each side out of five. But that's not a big deal because they were the lower settings. And on our lawn, it's pretty heaved and you don't want the lower settings anyway. So, Okay, here we go. See, it runs great, guys seem to be an issue with it. Alright. Pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited. So, no fear guys. Like I told you in the first episode, when we were working on that Craftsman I got off the dump from the 70s. You can make this stuff work. Alright? You don't always need to go out and buy new. You can just revive old. And sometimes not even that old stuff that's just been uh, scrapped. So here it was just a simple, probably some older lady had it. And uh, I was overwhelmed by trying to get this issue resolved with the rear wheels. So, you know, she scrapped it and bought another one. And it works out good for people who are, you know, mechanical or... Don't mind learning. So, another one resurrected, guys. I am the more man. Cuckoo, kachoo, coochie, coochie, coo. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe. Fear nothing, guys. With YouTube, the internet, and a little elbow grease, anything is possible if you believe. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Codger signing off. Stay tuned for another one.